BTC yield is a powerful metric because it measures the only thing that ultimately matters for a Bitcoin treasury company, Bitcoin per share growth. It strips away the daily dollar volatility and focuses on what is required to generate long-term shareholder value, more Bitcoin. A common critique is that BTC yield is accretive today at the expense of tomorrow, especially when companies issue digital credit via preferred equity or debt to buy Bitcoin. The argument is that you get to buy Bitcoin one time, but you owe the dividend forever. Each month you pay the dividend again and again. In isolation, inside a closed box, that critique can sound reasonable, but it completely misses the core economic assumption that makes BTC yield logical in the first place. The only reason issuing digital credit to buy Bitcoin makes sense is if Bitcoin's long-term CAGR exceeds your cost of capital. If Bitcoin compounds faster than the dividend or interest you owe, then over time the asset grows faster than the liability. That means your Bitcoin base expands faster than your obligations. When that happens, you're not destroying future value. You are enabling more accretive Bitcoin acquisitions over time. Your balance sheet becomes more powerful over time, not weaker. That is what enables you to repeat the process, issuing digital credit to buy Bitcoin, and continuously generate BTC yield. This is why BTC yield is not a one-time trick. It is an accurate measure of the accretiveness of a capital markets transaction. As Bitcoin rises, your balance sheet strengthens. As your balance sheet strengthens, your leverage ratio and amplification ratio decreases. As your leverage ratio decreases, you can issue more digital credit and buy more Bitcoin. The flywheel feeds itself as long as Bitcoin's CAGR stays above the cost of capital. And this logic is not limited to Bitcoin treasury companies. It applies to every business in the world. For the last 40 years, companies have created shareholder value by shrinking the balance sheet through buybacks and dividends because fiat money was a melting ice cube. You did not want to store excess capital in a depreciating asset. Now we have a structurally superior form of money. Bitcoin changes the objective function of corporate finance. The most tax efficient and durable way to create shareholder value is to store excess profits in Bitcoin, not distribute them. When you buy Bitcoin, you do not trigger a taxable event. And when markets value the company, they should incorporate the value of the Bitcoin on the balance sheet, the operating business, and the future free cash flow the business can generate to acquire more Bitcoin. BTC yield captures this entire model in a single number. It measures whether management is increasing Bitcoin per share over time. This is the cleanest expression of long-term shareholder value if you're measuring your long-term wealth in Bitcoin. In that sense, BTC yield is not just a good metric for Bitcoin treasury companies. It is likely the defining capital allocation metric for public and private businesses in the decades ahead. Thanks for watching, everyone, and see you next time.